My name is Elisa Bolton, and I'm, a, I'm running the shop, Bolton and Sunday Butcher Shop. I'm managing it. Uh, we opened in August. It's been about six months. We were working on it probably six months before we opened the doors to the whole planning stages. We had been raising animals at our farm and taking them to the farmer's market, and we realized that there was a big need for this accountable meat. Um, people around here are interested to know how their animals were raised, where they came from, what they were eating, and we didn't feel like there was a really reputable source around here um, that could carry a large variety and a consistent supply. So it just developed from there. We started thinking it seems like it would be good to have a shop that's open, you know, every day people could find us and be able to find this kind of product. There aren't really that many butcher shops left and I think that there's there's a bit of a revival in, in the industry. What we're trying to do is trying to use every part of the animal. So we use the bones to make stock, we do cooking, we do pot pies and sandwiches. Uh, my job here is essentially to utilize all of the trim that we get each week after we go through and make our fresh sausage and merchandise out the cuts of meat for the case. Essentially we've been trying to just tighten up a lot of the recipes that we do have, improving our consistency on that level, and then also trying to branch out and do different things. So in our shop at the moment we have chicken, beef, pork, and lamb, and they're all coming from different places. We're trying to source from farmers that we feel like are doing a really good job with the way that they are treating the animals. So the sausage making process is a time old technique of um, essentially taking ground products and putting them into a casing. The primary reason for doing that is actually for simplicity and transportation. Essentially, the process of making sausage is not too different than uh, making pate or hot dogs or any other sort of force meat. I think what's special about Bolton and Sons is the artisanal approach that we take to everything that we do, whether it's cutting up the whole animals, uh, making the sausage, or the cured meats from scratch. We provide people nice community service. Beyond that, we're willing to do anything that we can to please the customer, um, whether it's smoking off some chickens or rendering down some lard for someone. Um, we're happy to basically do anything for them. We really believe in the premise of bringing healthy, actual food to people. It's really disturbing the way that agriculture is being done, the way that um, GMOs are being propagated, and it's something that I really didn't want to support, and I had made a personal decision in my life to only seek out food that wasn't raised in that way. I wanted to make this shop so that I could bring this conversation to people that I could say, this is the way that meat should be raised. If we're eating meat, we need to be doing it ethically and we need to be talking about it with each other. It needs to be something that we're not pushing um, behind the scenes of our consciousness. And I just wanted to say that.